adventures are calling for us. Join the wings, we can ride the cloud, no time for hesitating. Bring color to the world with your imagination. Wings Club, forever and ever. Wings, if your hand is holding mine, we can fly through space and time, and together we'll be sure by winners. Wings, with a smile you can enchant, you light up our world, we'll fly the moon and sky together. Wings, you magical wings, among the stars you are wings, a mystical light of fire, under the sign of wings. The Wink save the Queen Mermaid of Andros. Layla sacrifices herself for the Queen, discovering the Enchantic's power, and becomes a stronger magic fairy. Greetings, friends! Greetings and welcome! Welcome to Espero! The most enchanted kingdom in the entire magic dimension! The perfect resort for your perfect holiday! What's this? Not clouds, surely. Huh? Impossible! There are no clouds here. <laughs> huh? Oh! Ah! oh! <laughs> who, who are you? My name is Valtor. But you can call him Master. Oh. <gasps> oh my god, I didn't do my homework at all. You see? Yeah. <laughs> What's that over there? <gasps> What's happening? We did it! Oh, we made it back safe and sound! <clears throat> there you are, young ladies. You have some explaining to do about your unauthorized absence. Not now, Griselda, please. Layla needs your help. <sighs> Oh. <laughs> Come in, Stella. You're just in time to see some magic at work. But what happened to Layla? Something really terrible and something really wonderful. Your friend was struck uh -huh. by a dark spell that cast out the light from her eyes. But she was also able to achieve her final fairy form. She is now an enchantix. Valtor's spell is powerful, but you are now strong enough to break it, Layla. You have the power of the fairy dust. It's a magic energy in your new wings. You can feel it if you concentrate. You should be able to feel it all around you. And you don't need your eyes to see it. The fairy dust can break through most dark spells. It's one of the new powers you have as an enchantix. <coughs> enchantix? That sounds cool. <coughs> huh? Young ladies? Uh -oh. 
I really hate to spoil this lovely moment, but there is still the matter of disciplinary action. As punishment for leaving school without permission and trying to deceive me by having Miss Stella and the Pixies impersonate you, you will have to go and work in the restricted section of the school library and reorganize the entire collection of old reference books for Miss Barbatea. And that's without using magic, of course. Your detention will last until all the books are on the stacks. Is that clear? Well done, Stella. I did my best, but things just kind of got out of control. Yeah, we noticed. Hmm. Hey, Blue, look. You have a visitor. Huh? Hey. Oh, Sky, what are you doing here? <laughs> I was just on my way back to Red Fountain, and I thought I'd stop by to see you. I heard you guys saw some real action on Andros. I wanted to make sure you were okay. And then, I wanted to ask you something. Well, what did you want to ask me? Bloom, I'm the Prince of Heraklion, and this weekend is my kingdom's 1,000th anniversary. At the party, I want to announce to the whole world that um, you're my girlfriend. Want to tell the whole world? That's a lot of people. You see, I want everybody to know how important you are to me. That is, if it's okay with you. That's a yes, then? You bet it is. There's nothing in the world that could keep me from going to your party. Well, actually, there is one thing, and that's Griselda's detention. So these are the enchanted coats of a sparrow. Somehow I pictured them differently. You'd think they'd have a safer place to store the magic knowledge of an entire world. You're talking to yourself, Icy. He's obviously not listening. Veltor's mind's a million miles away. Hey, what's going on? We just made off with all of a sparrow's magic. Add that to what you took from Solaria and Andros and let's get going. Soon you're gonna be the supreme sorcerer of the magic dimension. Isn't that what you want? No, but really, one would think you'd show a little more enthusiasm. I mean, what's with this sudden interest in Bloom? You think maybe he's got a crush on her? I'm studying her. Bloom is an enemy we do not want to underestimate. You three of all people should know that. We need to get rid of her before she causes more trouble. And that party on Arachleon will be the perfect place to do it. I just had a great idea. Girls, check out my new flower bag. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? that? No, what is Come it? On. Thank you all for coming on such short notice. I have something of great importance to tell you. <gasps> What's going on? What's with the magic dome above the school? Are we in trouble? I hope it's nothing serious. I wish it weren't, but look at Farragonda. I'm pretty sure she's about to give us some bad news. My dear girls, I have just learned that the evil sorcerer Valtor has launched an attack against the peaceful world of a sparrow. What? Not again? Now listen, everyone. A sparrow's most precious magic secrets have fallen into the hands of Valtor. This pattern of attack is of great concern to us because it means that sooner or later, Althea will become his target. Our school is the preserver of some supreme magical spell. Consequently, the other teachers and I have decided to create a special dome over the school premises to act as a protective barrier. For your safety and until Valtor is no longer a threat, nobody may enter or leave the school without special authorization. And that can only be issued by Griselda. Now we'll never be able to get out of here. You wouldn't be able to anyway, young lady. Or did you forget about your detention? I'll see you in the library in ten minutes. Hmm. Some of you snuck off campus and others lied about it. Now all of you will have the chance to think about what you've done while you organize the volumes of the restricted area. You will spend all your time in detention until everything is in order. And remember, no magic allowed. 
They're all yours, Miss Barbatea. The restricted section is extremely disorganized. These books think they own the place, and so they think they can do whatever they want. Some of them are indeed very bad-tempered. These are books of curses. Uh-huh. Huh? I would handle them with great care if I were you. Huh? Griselda really came down hard on us. We're going to be here forever. That's not quite true. According to my calculations, working at this rate, we should be done by next Tuesday. Well, I guess the Heraklion anniversary party is a bust. Oh, no. Come on, girls, let's not give up. Saturday is Bloom's party, and I, for one, don't intend to let her miss it. But Saturday is tomorrow. It'll be impossible to get this all done without using magic, unless... Unless what? Unless it's not our magic we use. If the books were to use their own magic, that wouldn't be breaking Griselda's rules. I predict failure is highly probable. It's more than just probable. It's certain. Yeah, Stella, bad idea. Put the book down. It's still cheating. We're just going to open the book. We're not doing anything ourselves. There's a nice little genie guy in here, like the one in Aladdin's lamp. Who dares disturb my rest? I must have misread the title! <laughs> Whoever said you can't judge a book by its cover oh, never saw this one. Oh. Layla, get the pixies to safety and make sure no teachers are heading this way. No problem. Come on, everybody! It's our turn now. Magic wing. We girls are the wind. Energy created. Our magic power. Love the people. We're the new ones with the wings. Musa, protect the book. Everyone else, let's go! Whoa! Time to work off some stress. <laughs> Convergence Digital Barrier! Reorganizing those. Mm. Vines, huh? Huh? Now wrap them up. And now go back where you came from. Get back in here, you! Gotcha! Phew, it's over. No, Musa, it's not. I'd say it's really just the beginning. Aren't you going out tonight, Princess Diaspro? Arachleon is celebrating. There's nothing for me to celebrate. And take that dress away. I don't want to see it. But I thought you planned on wearing it at tomorrow's Millennium Party at the Royal Palace. It's an event you must attend. And an event where I'll be on the sidelines. That stupid sky is bringing his precious little fairy bloom. Now go, get out, beat it. I want to be alone. Oh! <gasps> Guy thinks that Bloom is prettier than me? How ridiculous! Huh? There's someone in my room! Who? Who's there? Who are you? Poor Diaspro, I know how you feel. 
Don't be afraid. I'm a friend. I'm here to help. Get out of my room now! Get out of here or I'll call the guards! That would be a mistake. I can give you what you want. I can help you fulfill your dream and get rid of Bloom forever. Take a look at this. Huh? Hey, Bloom, what is Sky's party going to be like? Yeah, tell us, tell us! Well, all I can think about is how intimidating it's going to be. I really hope I don't blush too much. Come on, Sky and you will be side by side, all regal and majorly super fabulous looking. If she says so, that's gotta be true. He'll take you up to one of the royal palace balconies overlooking the courtyard. Ooh, I like it! Down below, the masses will be jockeying for a better view. The press will be fighting for that front page shot. All eyes will be on you. That doesn't reassure me at all. I won't know what to do. I won't know what to say. You face much bigger dangers, so don't worry. Yeah, and Layla and I will teach you how to be a perfect princess in no time. I hope so, because I made a total fool of myself the last time I was on Rakleon. Uh, trust <laughs> us. <laughs> like a princess, I'll be such a new life for me. From tomorrow, I live in a fairy tale. Like a princess, I'll be out with you. Thank you, Your Majesty. The honor is mine. Uh, George, I think she's got it. But there's still one more thing. The royal look. Huh? True nobility can be conveyed with a simple glance. Now eyes narrowed, chin up and out, eyebrows arched, nostrils slightly flared. How's this? So, what do you think? Give the look and curtsy. Yes, I think it's Trezix alone. Congratulations, Bloom. We're all rooting for you. I don't want to spoil the party, but your crash course for princesses has really slowed us down. We're seriously behind schedule. All right, don't panic. Bloom will still make it to her party because I have another great idea. Don't you think the last one was enough? This is different. It will work. We'll turn the pixies into copies of us again and then... You already did so much for me, Stella. I think right now we should all just work super hard. We are behind, but if we do our best, I think we can finish in time without using tricks or magic. All we have to do is believe we can do it. We've completed the inspection of the library, and I have to say, I'm impressed. Well then, I think it's only fair to grant permission to all of you to visit Arachlea. Oh, we did it! Let's go! Oh, wow. Way to go! If you don't want to be late, you'd better get ready. That is except for you, Bloom. But, Ms. Farragonda... If you don't mind, I'd like a word with you before you leave. I want to tell you a story that I've kept secret for a very long time, but now it's important that you know. More secrets? I thought you told me everything. Not this. The time just wasn't right before. This is the story of a battle that took place many years ago. What you see here is the Company of Light in their greatest battle. The one against Valtor. Valtor was no ordinary sorcerer. When the great dragon created the universe, a small spark of its flame fell into the darkness. The darkness then mixed with the power of the flame. And that's when the three ancient witches found it. The three ancient witches? You mean the ancestors of the tricks? Exactly. 
They molded that flame into the shape of a man and called him Valtor. They brought him up, and when he was old enough, they sent him to conquer all the magical dimensions. But what about these warriors? Who was the Company of Light? They were a brave order. The best of the heroes, the fairies, and the sorcerers. It was founded by Marion and Oratel, your birth parents. They formed the Company of Light to fight the ancient witches, right? Yes, and when the witches destroyed Domino, your parents thought you had been destroyed too. That's when they went after Valtor with everything they had. Wait, how do you know all this? Well, I was a member of the Company of Light, along with Griffin and Saladin. To drive back the forces of evil, we challenged Valtor together. So what happened? Did you trap him in the Omega Dimension? Your parents did. After the rest of us were knocked out, they used the last of their strength to seal Valtor away. But the price was high. Marion and Oratel never returned from that battle. But if no one really saw what happened to my birth parents, do you think it could be possible... What, dear? That, that my parents might still be alive somewhere. Bloom, I can't say. Nobody can. Nobody except Valtor. He was the last one to see my parents. He knows the answer. Bloom, be careful. This is why I told you about this. Valtor really is a wicked creature. If he finds out who you are, he will certainly come after you to take his revenge. Now Bloom knows that Valtor is her enemy. But what will the sorcerer's next move be? The Winx will arrive on Arachleon, where Sky is going to make an announcement. If you're a Winx, there's a place for you. Meet a